as much as I try every day to be like Holly Berry, I'm not. Yeah. I threw up in my own hands. Shut your mouth, child. Not all. Great dress. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who's it by? Valentino. I won it. Um, congratulations on this film. Thank you. I mean, there's been so many big superhero movies out this year. What sets X Men apart and above? Um, they're the first. Yeah, you can't be. You can't. You can't compare anything to the original. And uh, X Men was like the first real live action franchise that we all fell in love with. And can't touch on the original recipe. It was the first, but did you have any pressure stepping into, I guess, Hallie's shoes? Oh, hundred percent. I'm so nervous about stepping into Hallie's shoes. I had to take that aspect out of my mind to even do the role. You know, for like the first month and a half, I was thinking about all the stuff that I wasn't doing like Hallie, and then I was like, well, wait, hold on. You're not Hallie. Like, as much as I try every day to be like Halle Berry, I'm not, you know? So I had to really like, understand that and then just like stay true to my own specific choices. In spite of that excellent impersonation. I feel like this is a bit of a rite of passage film. You know, they go from being students to being X-Men. What was the moment that you realized you were an adult? I was 18. I was a living nanny in Los Angeles. And the little girl, hi Jelly Belly, the little girl that I was sitting looked up at me and she goes, you're an adult. You're like a grown up. And she was four at the time. And like, I threw up in my own hands. Like, I was like, I'm 18, I'm not an adult. I think that's when I figured it out. I completely understand. I've been there. I know the feeling. Yeah, like, children love to tell you that you're old. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, uh, shut your mouth, child. 